Hi, welcome to Pop Dog Workshop. In today's video, we're going to take the Fox Alien 4040XE and we're going to convert it from a CNC router over to a laser engraver. There's only a few steps that you need to do to be successful and I'm going to show you how to do it today. Let's get started. I want to thank my patrons for supporting this channel and I want to thank all of you for visiting today and I encourage you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the videos. So today I'm going to take this laser and the cord that came with it and we're going to install it on the Fox Alien 4040 XE and we're going to convert this in to a laser engraver and do a test carve and see how it works. On the side of the controller there is a switch and it's recessed into the box and it's labeled laser and spindle. Normally, it's going to be to the front. What we need to do is switch it to the rear. Now it's going to be in the laser mode. On the back of the controller, there is a plug right down here at the bottom that we're going to take the cord and plug it in. Now that takes care of everything that we need to do to the controller. Let's go ahead and install the laser. Next thing we have to do is just loosen these screws. And this spindle will then just lift right out. Now, of course, we want to unplug these two wires. We'll set the spindle out of the way. Now on the mount itself, you have some ridges here on all four sides, and that is where the laser will actually be able to rest right into those slots. Okay, now I have that resting right there. And I'll go ahead and tighten this back up. And the last thing we'll do, we'll take the cord and we'll be able to plug in the cord. Now that completes the installation. The last thing that I like to be able to do is take these wires. Now this is the limit switch and we still need to make sure that that's okay. But I wanna take this and just loop it right around here and I'm just going to take a little tie and just slip it right into here and tie it to the rest of this cable. And that will keep it out of the way. And as far as this wire from the laser, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to attach it right up here. And that should be fine. The next thing I did is I plugged in the USB cable into the computer. I opened up my universal G-code sender or UGS and I have turned on the controller. Now the next thing I want to do is check the settings in the Gerbil to make sure that it's really truly set up for the laser. Now in the command line, I need to click on this, click on the command line. And I need to click on the dollar sign twice and hit enter. And that gives me all of the Gerbil settings. And there's a few settings that I need to be able to take a look at and see if I need to change it. Now right now the dollar sign 30 equals 10,000. 31 is set to 0 and 32 is set to zero. So I need to change a couple of these. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change line 30 and I'm going to put in the dollar sign 30 equals 1000 and I'm going to hit my enter. Line 32, the dollar sign 32 needs to change 
So I'm gonna select the dollar and I'm gonna select this at line 32 and that needs to equal one. So that takes care of those settings. And when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see those changes. Dollar sign 30 is now equal to 1000. Dollar sign 32 is now equals one. Now when you first open this up, it's gonna say that the laser is disconnected. You come right down here to devices, click on that, and then you'll be able to choose the laser. And here I went ahead and I'm selecting this uh, gerbil and I'm gonna click OK. And now it's waiting for the connection. So after we selected the device, then I just come over here and I select COM5. And then I'm just gonna leave this. This will be just fine. And it says that it's ready. So now I can go ahead and down here and I'm gonna have this set for one inch and I can move this up. And let's show you over here on the machine. So that works just fine. I can go left and right. So there's right and there's left. All right, so now I need to go ahead and set up the test and see if we can actually make a car. Okay, I've moved the laser down now to the point where this just barely touches. So now the laser is actually focused. So I'm gonna pull this out. All I'm gonna do is just type in, this is a test for this first one. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this so I can come over here and double click on it. And then I wanna change the settings. We're gonna leave the 80 inches per minute. I do not have an air assist, so I'm gonna turn that off. And instead of 100% power, Let's just go with 25% power. And one pass is fine. I think that will work. So we'll click OK. And then over here, this just does the line. I do want to hit a little test fire at three and a half and see what that does. Now I'm going to get the glasses on and we're going to do a test fire. I'm going to do a test fire at about 2% power and that actually helps for alignment. Not really worried about alignment for this one, but it's still an important part of the whole process. So I have the power now set down to 2%, and we're going to test and hit fire. And you can actually look and see that dot's actually pretty big. That's okay. We're still going to use the settings that they say. And uh, let's go ahead and test this out. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and start the laser and see how it does. Okay, at the 25% power, it barely left the mark. So we're now gonna go ahead and increase the power up to 50% and run this same test again. Okay, at 50% power, we're actually able to start to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and go up to 80% power and do it one more time. Now this time what I'm gonna do is just come right down here and I'm going to highlight this box and change it to the 80%. And that's really all I need to do. We're still keeping this at one pass and we're gonna hit start. Okay, that completes it. And now it's actually starting to look pretty good. Okay, the one thing that I like, it is a very, very crisp, sharp line. Okay, I'm setting up the next project and I have a line drawn on this piece of plywood that's five by seven. And I have this in the fire mode, so it's at 2% power. And I'm using the center of this as the center point and the point of origin. Over here on the computer screen, I want to go ahead and zoom in. This is what I'm going to engrave. 
Now this should take about 17 minutes and this is with a fill. And let's go over here and take a look now at the settings. We have this at 80 inches per minute at 100% power. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this, get rid of the air assist because I don't have it. I'm gonna change this down to 90%. We're gonna leave the 80 inches per minute. Lines per, and that will be good. I think everything else will be fine. So now I'm gonna click that, closed, and I'm gonna come up here to the laser, and I wanna click on this frame. This frame, make sure that I stay within that line that I have drawn. Now let's go ahead under the move, and let's turn this off. We don't need that on anymore. And now I'm gonna come up here and click on the frame. That looks pretty good. Now at this point, we know it's gonna stay in that area. I am gonna go ahead and hit the start and we're gonna start engraving. It hit the fire button one more time just to ensure that it was in the center and it was. Now like I said, this should take about 17 minutes to do. So I'm going to come back in just a couple minutes. We'll take a look at it. I'm very impressed. This is looking really good. Nice sharp detail. Exactly what I want. Now I want to point out to you the settings that I changed in Gerbil was to be able to set it up so that the laser would function. The dollar sign 32 was set to zero initially. And that line is actually to enable the laser. So that had to be changed to one. The other line, line 31, is the laser power. And that was, or the minimum spindle speed, and that was set to zero. So that's the minimum laser power. Now it's important to note that the changes that I made to Gerbil should not affect the normal operation of the CNC router, except for the speed. Now the first one, line 30, had that set 10,000. And 10,000 is the max speed of the spindle. Now I'm gonna experiment and go back and change that and put the 10,000 back instead of the 1,000 that I currently have for the laser and see how that affects the laser. But as far as the other setting, 31, there was no change. It was zero, it remained zero. But line 32 was important. It was originally at the zero, and that needed to change to one. Basically, it's like an off and on switch. That line 32 enables the laser. So if that was not changed to one, I don't think that laser is gonna work. The other important thing that I want to be able to point out to you is once you change the Gerbil settings, I closed out the universal G-code sender because if that is still on, even if it is minimized, the Lightburn software is not going to work. I've never had a, the uh, experience where that would work. Other than that, the setup is very simple and very straightforward. I did have to switch it to COM5, which matched everything else and it's a different setting from the other CNC's that I have. So that's important to note as well. Well, it's all finished and in looking at this I think it's pretty good the only thing that I see there was a void in the plywood and it did burn through the surface but other than that this looks awesome and that's not the fault of the laser that was just a void in the plywood itself this looks fantastic I'm very very pleased with it 
Well, setting up the laser today was a lot of fun on the Fox Alien 4040 XE. And my first carve, I think, turned out just amazing for a scrap piece of plywood. This is going to look good. I think I may just go ahead and save it and put it in a frame and give it to my grandson. If you like the video today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification down below. Because I have a lot more videos that are coming. We're going to have a lot of fun making different projects using the CNC machine as well as the laser. So until next time, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in whatever project that I'm working on.